Yeah, she was a distraction to my mathematics. Then Corona happened. The government cabin on what's really happening. Rock Nation signing niggas that's out here rapping and chase the captain of the ship. Ain't this a bitch you keep inside and snitch? We lost on real rich. Life's a bitch. Can't have a funeral, no matter if you're rich or poor. Overpopulated at most. Funeral homes, bodies all on the floor. No food in stores, no me no more. These are the last days if you never pray. Have faith, all sort of illicit days. Yo, it's tough. When you see Puff rock a hoodie with his baby mama hanging from a cross, you lost. Damn, you told the CEO on the gram he was a handsome man. A sexual harassment in front of millions of fans. You made foul on his gram like Sunday Leticia. Choices don't leave. Marry a Jesus. Sides, self pleasing, some sneak thieves. If we were kids, you call them flat leavers. They use you, don't need you. It's birth you, they see you. Cross you, then be you. Curve you, and flee you. Niggas wanna be you until they see you. They idolize you, like you in the case. Nigga, you know who got punched in the face. In the A on stage, or any place. A nigga like me never retire like me. And don't even care if the church is the escape. Last real nigga alive amongst your faith. Y'all big bad, no frost in the white face. You can't come out. Epstein flight log is out. And tell us what that spirit cooking about. Head to head with a satanist and niggas that doubt me. The power on the dark side block me out. That's why I'm blacking. Get it in any sport trick. That's why you the non factor. 6 9 keep acting like you ain't acting. You wasn't flagging in the court yapping. That tough guy on the ground was just blabbing. Nigga, you cap on the king of New York. That's your niggas, I'm laughing. <laughs> We here now. You know what it is. Eat a wall. Stand up. Choke, no joke, Jiggy. Choke, no joke. I'm here. I'm sorry I'm late, but I'm here. Let's get into it. Learn from mistakes is out right now. Choke no joke. And this joint right here is on it. Produced by DJ SNS. Check it out. Choke no joke. Shout out to everybody that caught my album. It's on all platforms now. All platforms. Ain't no telling you be a first time felon. No telling. When you be a first time felon. It ain't no telling you be a first time felon. No telling. When you be a first time felon. Best day of my life. No sleep all night. Broke day for weeks. My cash was right. My cop was tight. Take I loot, unite. 23 hour shifts. How does he look like Mike? Cash, lovely. Yeah, Dougie. I get this day, it's so ugly. Wifey about to pop, like some bubbly. Yo, do those long ones, don't really bug me. Felt like a star, cop first car. Get up with the guard, what it is, baby, Paul. Get about to cop a van, get up with our mans. Before we reach that low spot, toes blam. Unaware what happened, discussing the clapping. It was a lie, ain't shit gonna happen. Me being stupid, instead of getting it moving. This nigga kept chefing, like the wooer. Then we heard a knock, no one knew where this spot. Since niggas in the spot, since niggas not. Ain't no telling you be a first time felon, no telling. Will you be a first time felon? It ain't no telling you be a first time felon, no telling. Will you be a first time felon? It ain't no telling you be a first time felon, no telling. Will you be a first time felon? I'm in the precinct, all damn even. It's good to come back, I should got me steaming. No, I was caught, I ain't give a fuck. Had jokes like the usual suspects line up. Two times up, came back. 
Shirt wriggled up. Pig jerk me up. Time's up. Heard them clink of the cuffs. Niggas was so deep, they had to call on the bus. Everybody the checks outside waiting on us. Like ghetto celebs. Our cells ain't plush. Five in the boat game. Game for warping. He never forget. They gotta be split. Up in the courtroom, they're causing ruckus. Everybody in the jacks, waiting on us. Trying to bail us out, that thought got thrown out. Bill was so hot, could have half of the guy. Hopped out, that's what first fell in the bow. Back on the bus, right is the ride. Whitey in the courtroom, crying out. We love y'all, with tears running in their mouth. It ain't no telling, you be a first time felon. No telling. When you be a first time felon, it ain't no telling, you be a first time felon. No telling. When you be a first time felon. Choke, no joke. Learn from mistakes. Keep chasing that paper, you're going to catch a case. DJ SNS, the great. Choke no joke, chicky choke no joke, choke no joke, chicky choke no joke. You know what it is, man. Y'all know what we here for. You better not see no jigaboo uh, haters in here. Y'all are welcome, but you will get blocked. We block people over here. Oh, yes, we do. I got my moderator, his squad, nice and ready for tonight. They know where they see this dude name. They got to be quick with the trigger finger. Wop it up, Marcus. Wop it up. <laughs> Choke, no joke, I'm in the building, y'all. Truth be told all day, every day, even on your birthday, even on when I'm hungry, because I'm hungry. So I may be snacking a little bit during the show, but I got to uh, get some uh, nutrition. I've been working very hard on my promo tour. Already launched it off in Atlanta. You know, little pop-up performances. Yeah, they got me doing performances already. The music is hitting. I know y'all didn't think it was going to happen. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Yeah, I'm getting called for shows already. Don't be mad. It's promo. I ain't getting paid for it, but they want me to come through and do my hey, what's up? I appreciate it. They says hitting with the ladies. Don't be mad. Do not be mad. Be happy for me. Be very happy for me, all right? I'm the 50 year old platinum version. <laughs> That's the name of my mixtape. <laughs> it's look like I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a plaque, y'all. I know they don't like it, but I love it. And I thank each and every one of y'all that supported me. I, I think y'all that supported me before I even put this album out. For me to even be here today to be able to put the album out. Thank you for helping me uh, continue to knock off my bucket list and be successful at it. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. <sighs> Choke No Joke Apparel. Dolo Sportif, got a whole bunch of new colors and flavors for y'all, choke no joke joints. Do I get, do, can I take a minute before I get in the Jigaboo to show y'all some of the new stuff? If y'all want, if you see anything you like, you can DM me at Real Choke No Joke right there on the bottom of the screen. Or hit me on my website, Choke No Joke Power. Uh, excuse me, Joke No Joke Productions dot com. Excuse me, dot com. In the message, and say, Yo, Choke, 
because all these right here are not on the website. So what you see is what you get. And whatever size I say, that's what it is. All right? On the ones that you see. So you can cash at me. You can, uh, if you got PayPal, I'll give you my PayPal. Uh, do not super chat me for any of these. All right? Now. I got flavors. Now, if you want the choke, no joke joint. Red and gold. You like that, right? Fly. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. You know what I mean? Or if you want this one. Extra large right here. Purple, purple, and yellow, extra large. That red and gold is large. The red and gold is large. You already know it was cracking. You know what I mean? Blue on blue. Blue on blue. Shout out to Spider Low. <laughs> Extra large. The hey, what's up joint for the fellas with the girl nagging you? Hey, what's up? Can you give me what I want? Can you give me what I need? Because I really got to know. What's up? What's up? All right. This is for the fellas. It's tired of the girls trying to get in their pocket. All right. Size large. This is for the ladies. Size medium. If you don't want wasting your time, hey, can you give me what I want? Can you give me what I need? Because I really got to know. What's up? What's up? That's on the album, y'all. Hey, what's up? If you don't understand where that's coming from, all right? Hey, what's up? That's on the album. Learn from mistakes, man. Dolo for the ladies, okay? Size large, all right? Large. Red and black. Black on red. Large. Now for all my others, the ones that like these, the born alone, die alone. White on red. Extra large. Right on black, extra large. Dolo Sportif, I choke no joke. You already know the Nipsey Blue, born alone, die alone. Orange joint and white. All right, extra large. For the cuties, you already know the shorties. Size small. All right. It's that gold. That black on white. Size large. You already know Dolo. All one year. I'm not customizing the years on these ones. All right. That's what it is. This is the brand. 71. All right. That black on green. Large. Orange is the new black. Or something like that. <laughs> Extra large. But wait, there's more. The gold on blue on the Navy, all right? In the Navy. A size large. Okay, here we go. Got the black. Gold on black. Size large is my dude. Yo. Say word, we good?
Right. All right, cool. Say no more. Let me hit them up. I'm gonna hit you back. What's, what? Uh, just me and him. All right, say no more. One. That was the size medium. All right, that gold right here, the white, the gold on white, size medium. All right, the large on the black on gold. All right, here we go. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Yellow on black. Large. I know y'all going to jump all over this one. Bam, bam, bam. Red on blue. You already know. Blood and encrypting at the same time. All right? Peace treaty. This is the peace treaty. All right? Size large. Doodle brown for those who got that Louis bag. You know, that Louis luggage. Doodle brown, all right? Get that Louis luggage. Size large. All right, for those who got my album, First Time Felon. All right, learn from mistakes. Learn from mistakes, First Time Felon. That purple, yellow on purple, Lakers. All right, size large. Y'all already know how we do. We roll dolo where? State to state. There you go. We roll dolo state to state, baby. All right, that's that royal blue. Size large. Nina, what up? I see you, baby. Few more. All right. Roll dolo state to state, y'all. You roll dolo state to state. I'll at me. Size large. Got an extra large too for the big boys and girls. If you're feeling that uh, first time felon, I got it in black and yellow, all right? Black and yellow, first time felon. It ain't no telling you be a first time felon. No telling when you be a first time felon. I roll dolo, black, blue and white, navy blue, white on navy blue. If you roll dolo state to state, you don't need a whole crew to roll with you. you go to the bathroom, ladies. You can go pee by yourself. That's for you, all right? Extra large. First time felons. First time felon, all right? Extra large. Let's get it. Let's get it. Still rolling dolo, state to state. White on red. Red and white. And orange and white. Don't make me bust out the or all orange ears on y'all with the white stripe. Don't make me go digging there. Now, this is also for all those who got my album. This is for you. Y'all get it? You see the number on the back is Kate? Size extra large, stay DL. If you got my album, you already know. I ain't got to explain you. If you're in the streets, I ain't got to tell you. You already know what this means. All right? Extra large, B. Extra large. If you live in extra large. Now, this is one of my favorites right here. The real one. Choke no joke. All right? Burgundy and yellow. Size large. If you like that, then you're gonna love the yellow on the black, the real one. Choke no joke. You all right? Size large. I got it for those the big ones too. Size extra large. All right. Stay DL. All right. Size medium. Medium, stay DL. Get that money. That's why it's green. Get that money, but stay the yell. All right? First time felon. 
in that Carolina blue. Carolina, what up? Extra large. Extra large, real one. Choke no joke. That yellow on the orange. Don't bite my flavors. Do not be biting my color schemes, y'all. You know that look hard. The yellow on the orange, you know that look hard. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Super wise woman, Stanley. Thank you. I appreciate the uh, compliment on the album. The album cover should be a shirt. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> Maybe. Born alone, the line alone in the Knicks colors. All right. In, or New York Mets. Ex extra large. LA, what up? Dodgers colors. Shout out to the LA crew. Born alone, die alone. Size small for the ladies or the little the little ones, the little shorties. Or y'all real real thin ones. Extra large, born alone, die alone. All right. Your LA fitted. Just go right with it. You got that LA fitted. Just go right with it. If you got that Mets fitted. Just go right with it, all right? Dolo is popping. This for the ladies. Dolo, V-Nex. V-Nex for the ladies or, you know, the guys that dress a little metrosexual, you know what I mean? If you really like getting that money, that bloody money, there you go. Stay DL with the green and the red. Bloody money. All right. That V-neck was a large, ladies. All right. Stay DL, y'all. Large. All right. Get that bread, but watch your back. You never know who's watching. You never know who's watching. Never know who's watching, yo. Without the frame. Stay DL. All right? You never know who's watching. All right? Choke No Joke Apparel, Dolo Sport Teeth. Thank y'all for supporting me. Ladies, I got the Dolo for y'all. You know, I know pink is good. Cancer wearing this month at times. You know what I mean? Shout out to my cancer patients. Rest in peace to those who we lost to cancer. F cancer. But I got pink in all sizes for the ladies. All right. Malik, good looking. Thanks for the cash. Super chat. Here we go, y'all. All right. Pink for the ladies, all sizes. Small, medium, large. All for the fellas that's into their camera on. All right, get your camera on, on. Holla at me, man. If you get your camera on, on. I got the paint for you too, camera on, fellas. All right, V neck for the ladies. Hey, what's up? Hey, can you give me what I need? Because I got to know. Short version. Long version. Hey. Can you give me what I want? Can you give me what I need? Because I really got to know. Size medium. They even got it in the small for y'all ladies, all right? So y'all ladies break out y'all Jordans. And holla at me. Choke no joke. I just felt like I was at Magic doing the showing. To a retailer. I don't know if y'all know anything about that because y'all might not have worked in the fashion industry at a, a label before I did. I worked at Parish and some others, but you do a showing like that when stores come over to Magic or Agenda to see what line, like that would be, oh, this is my summer line t shirt line. And then I will present all those colors and styles to them. And then they place their order. Oh, I want 100 of those. Oh, I want 500 of those. I want them. And then they ship them to J Jimmy Jazz and come say, oh, I want 200 of those. I like that Dolo shirt. I want 500 of those. 
And then every store around the country comes in there and they place orders. And that's what Magic Agenda is. If you don't know, I just explained it to you in five minutes. From t-shirts to buttons, to shoestrings, to shoes, to uniforms, anything that got anything to do with apparel is at this fashion convention. So if you have a store and you're in a, a little city and you want to get good, good clothing or good accounts, from uh, clothing brands like Dolo Sportif, with Choke No Joke Apparel, two times a year, February and August, you go to Agenda and you sign up on Magic, because the Magic Convention is held at the Las Vegas Convention Center. You go online, you sign up, you get you a badge, and you walk around this whole thing where Every store, every clothing line, every thing that got to do down to baby clothes is all in there. They all there. You name it, they're there. What brand? Yes, they there. That brand? Yes, that brand. They all there. You know, maybe not the small, small brands, but even small brands will be there. And you go in there, if you got a store, and you go around, you place your orders, and if you got good credit, then they will deal with you. If you got bad credit, they might not uh, ship anything to you unless you pay for it up front. So I just gave y'all a one on one. I should have, you know, I'm gonna do a whole full class on that on my Patreon uh, on uh, wholesale, retail, and uh, ordering for the next season. I'll make that a class for the um, Patreon channel. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Um, now, my family is having problems, y'all. My Rockefeller family. I know I'm, I'm the disfront. This gruntle uncle. I know I'm the uncle at the, the cookout that get drunk and dance and niggas hate it because all the women be all over me. I know I'm the uh the uncle with the attitude at Rockefeller that they want to disown because I always spit spit the real at the uh Thanksgiving table and stuff. So, you know. You got uh, Jigaboos out there that's going to get mad at this time. My little Jigaboos, please exit the room right now. I, I don't want you to see your daddy get spanked. You know, so please, y'all go ahead. Go watch somebody else right now. I'm going to give you a few minutes to get out. Say your last little uh, F words. Your little mean comments. And my moderators are going to block you. So, y'all go ahead. I'm going to give you a little few minutes to go ahead and get out because I'm about to talk about your daddy, the God y'all worship. Go on now, go on now, go on and get out. I don't even want to look at you. Just go ahead and leave. I don't. I don't want to see none of y'all comments. Oh, you talking about Jigaboo again? Stop talking about my Jigaboo. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. So. Please, y'all got like 60 more seconds to get the hell out. We do not want y'all here. And don't stay just in, in knowing that you don't like me talking about just for the sake of entertainment. Do not love to hate me. I don't want you to love to hate me. Get out. Go. You're not going to laugh with us tonight. No. 
because I'm going to get a laugh or two tonight. We're going we're gonna to have some laughs. So all the little jigaboos that's going to get in their feelings, please leave now. Please. Please. My moderators, they, they want to enjoy the show. They don't want to have to be blocking you. So please, please go. Go now, please, so we can get this started. Can y'all subscribe, too, if you've never been here before? Welcome. I appreciate you coming, catching the live. At this time, you may want to go get you some Kleenex tissue because I can get silly at times, especially when it comes to Jigaboo. And I may make you laugh. I'm not responsible for anybody that spit juice, water, or any beverage that's in your mouth if I make you laugh. If you spit juice in somebody's face, it's not my fault. You may want to leave right now, too, because I don't want you to get smacked up. <laughs> and then we talk about, yo, <laughs> you, made, you made me spit out my gum, and it went in my girlfriend's mouth. <laughs> And she choked on it and died. <laughs> Choke, we need your help. You killed my girlfriend. You made me spit my gum in her mouth and she choked. It's a sad day in hip hop, y'all. The richest nigga, allegedly, in hip hop, is out here damn near living in the courtroom. This nigga's in the courtroom more than Judge Judy. His new name is Jay Judy. He's back in the courtroom again three days later. But I put it together. I put it together. And I know a lot of y'all niggas watching will be stealing my content and my theories. I'm going to run with this one too. Because I put it together. It breaks my heart. You see these guys that I've filmed for so many years can't believe oh shawnee boy is being so petty why are you being so petty shawnee boy It's Dame Diddy. Y'all know where we came from? Let me give y'all an idea. Hold on a second. Take y'all back a little bit. This this thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
This hurts. Do you understand this hurts? Let me explain something to y'all kids here. Pull up a chair. Uncle Chucky, can you tell us a rock of story? Tell a story, please, uh, please. Okay. Grab a seat. Here we go. Once upon a time, like long ago, it was a nigga with some big lips in the nose. <laughs> oh, I thought I couldn't rap. <laughs> Bars. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all. What's up on the time not long ago? Now, let me chill out. Um... Now, see, the reason I pulled up this footage, and this is my footage that I own, that I shot on my own with my own camera before I even worked at Rockefeller, all right? So this is probably 95, 95, 96, uh, I don't know. Whatever the heart before Hard Not Life really hit. Because <clears throat> you can see Jay's wearing School of Hard Knots, not Rockaway. They, they didn't even uh they didn't even have Rockaway yet. I, I don't believe. Um so it is now rumored allegedly that and you see how they put it in the news, it's always oh Jay-Z did this, oh Jay-Z did that. Oh, Jay-Z did this. But when he do some suckiness, oh, oh Rockefeller is suing uh, Dame Dash. How is Rockefeller suing Dame Dash? The owner of Rockefeller is suing the former owner of Rockefeller, Damon Dash. Jay-Z is allegedly suing Dame. Not no damn Rockefeller. Rockefeller don't even exist. Only Rockefeller exists is these niggas walking around with Jay Chains on. Those are only Rockefellers. The niggas walking around that wasn't signed to Rockefeller that wear Jay Chains. It's old chains. Old chain gang. Those are the only Rockefeller niggas out here. The old chain gang. Man, damn. Look, look where they came from, man. Look where they came from. Now, the, the reason I bring this up is because to see Jay sue Dane over Dane wanting to make a uh, uh, reasonable doubt of NFT. If those who don't know what NFT is, an uh, NFT is like a digital master that you can sell to someone and then they they own only digitally you know what i'm saying for the for the most part right so dame figures yo this day and age i make uh your reason boot out an nft i own it i can do what i want with it i'm, I'm a 50 percent owner i'm a fair shareholder i can do with my part what i want to do with it but what I just found out recently, hold oh buddy this, hold up, one second.
Now, when I was uh, working at Rockefeller and everything was dying down and then when Jay pulled that crap on, on uh, Dame and them, gave them, the, the, did the Jedi mind trick on these niggas, told niggas he was retiring so they could sign off the paperwork, told them, oh, I don't want to do this some more. I'm going to retire. Yo, let's just sell the company so, you know, we could just say, oh, take our split and go our ways. Oh, okay, Jay. Okay, Jay. Yo, Jay don't want to do this no more. He's retiring. So, come on. We're going to sell a company, Biggs. You know? Psych. Nigga, as soon as they sign. Psych. Leo and them niggas give it back to Jay. Here's Rockefeller. So, that's why Rockefeller is suing Dame. Because Dame signed off. Had Dame know that Jay wasn't retired, he wouldn't have never signed off. Jay tricked him into doing that. Well, because Dame would have just kept the label running with all the other artists. It, it, Jay made him, gave him the impression that he was really retiring. And, you know, he didn't want to, you know, break the money up three ways no more. So when after he backstabbed them and they knew that he, was, he they got backstabbed, Jay tried to double back and get reasonable doubt. Now, Dame, Jay told Dame, gave Dame and Biggs an ultimatum. He said, yo, if y'all give me reasonable doubt, I'll let y'all niggas have Rockefeller. I just want my baby. I just want the masters to my baby. Because Biggs and Dame own reasonable doubt. Right? Dame says, you know, so you saying all you want is reasonable doubt and we got all the other masters and everything else. Jay said, yeah. All I want is reasonable doubt. Y'all can have everything else. Big said, F that nigga. Who the hell is he to give us an ultimatum? F that nigga. Which is surprisingly, because now you see this nigga running around behind this nigga, sniffing his ass. But what I'm just hearing now recently, I don't know this is the truth, it is alleged that Big sold his shares of reasonable doubt back to Jay. So now we, if that's true, it would make sense why Biggs was around Jay for a period of time, and now you don't see him around Jay no more. Jay groomed him. Come here, puppy. Yeah, good boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forget I shit it on you and Dave. Forget that. Forget dig a hole. Forget I called you silent partner. Don't worry, but can I get my masters back from the reasonable doubt? Yeah, I let your boy uh, do some songs with Beyonce. Come on, man. Give me reasonable doubt. Boom. If that's true. Right? So, and then I could see Biggs not having the money that he used to have. And that's a sweet deal for Jay to give him some money for reasonable doubt. But Dane, Dame can have $10 in his pocket. That nigga's not selling reasonable doubt. Reasonable doubt is Dame's Rolex. Reasonable doubt is a drug dealer's jewelry and, and, and uh to him. That's his collateral. Dame can have a nickel in his pocket. He's holding on to reasonable doubt because until he can get the big the big bag because he knows it's worth something. Now, here's where I pull a wall from over your eyes and show y'all this is why niggas don't like me. Because I'm not dumb and they can't take advantage of me and they can't control me. Because I'm not bonded to them by booty hole or contract. <laughs> This nigga here is trying to double shoot Dame down from doing this NFT sale, right? Pay attention, y'all. I, I, all I gotta do 
is put hit the hit the uh bullet points, digging holes about Dame and Biggs and uh, and Dipset. It's about all of them. Did that did dig a hole's uh, 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 answer to uh, two more for Cam for taking over the rock and all that shit. Um, this is how Dame, I mean, Jay's allegedly shooting Dame down with a double barrel. He taking him to court to try to stop the sale of, of reasonable doubt, right? But now we know why he's suing Jonathan, the photographer. Because he got the album cover picture of reasonable doubt. And him and Dane probably working together for this sale. Or if Dane sells the NFT of reasonable doubt, Jonathan got the picture. So Jay trying to stop this nigga from being able to sell the picture because if Dame get the sale on the NFT, a reasonable doubt, John going to cake off too because he got the album cover, the picture. None of y'all niggas figured that out, did y'all? Boo! That's why Jay suing the photographer too. It's all about reasonable doubt. Come on now. There you go. Now you know why Jay-Z is suing Jonathan, whatever his last name is, with the M. Because of the, the album cover of Reasonable Doubt, the picture, because Dame's getting ready to do an NFT and cake. They both, him and Dame both win. And this nigga don't own it or uh, solely. So this is why he's doing his crying and this, that, and other. So he might necessarily, might not, his, he might be hurting in his pockets. I believe he took a big hit, especially with that, um, with the pandemic. Because you got to remember, he signed the Rock Nation. I mean, Live Nation. He's Live Nation's broad. He's Live Nation's bottom bitch. You know what I'm saying? And he got to go out and get all the other hoes for Live Nation. So all these other people you see at the brunch, they ain't nothing but hoes for him. And, and and Live Nation is the main pimp. And they pimping him. And the rest of these niggas and, and, and artists is, is his hoes. Because he got to pay those people. So y'all going to get out there and get my money. Y'all going to go out there and get Rock Nation money. And y'all ain't going to get no money unless y'all sign to us because my master own all the venues. So I did a deal with master so I could control y'all niggas. Y'all niggas want to get in the venue? Y'all got to go through me because master got, I got the key to master. And master got his hand on my back. So if y'all want to perform anywhere in the United States or overseas, you got to sign to the nation. Okay, Jay. Okay, Jay. No beef no more, Jay. Yo, Jay's the greatest. Yo, I'm telling you. Yo, Jay is the greatest. You had a nigga sign the Rock Nation? Talk about Jay Z, especially these niggas that hated him. He was the now he the greatest of all times, and he is the best businessman. I be watching these niggas turn to stone cold hoes, stone cold hoes, all for a check, cause they don't know how to get out here and get it on their own. Can't, we can't get no venues. Live Nation got all the venues. All right, I'm going to go sign over there with them niggas. There was no shows for a whole year. And some change. Not no concert venues. Jay-Z deal with Live Nation is to fill the concerts 
with all his hoes that be at the brunch. No, none of his hoes was able to do no shows. So he's taking a hit, and Master is taking a huge hit. So who you think, if they taking a hit, he taking a hit. And these hoes is taking hits. They, they can't wait for it to open up so they can try to fill these arenas again and whatever. But you already took a hit. That's why you see him selling champagne. Because he didn't have no shelf space for when we was all at in the liquor stores in, in the pandemic, drinking, drinking, drinking. Liquor sales was through the roof during the pandemic. All people did was sit home and drink and be depressed. But you couldn't find his liquor nowhere because he had no shelf space. He made his money in the clubs. With, you know, these niggas uh, with all the swipers. The, the, the niggas faking like they balling. They up there swiping, buying, buying uh, champagne off of uh, burning the credit cards. Friend like they getting it. But he don't care because he, you know, he getting his money. It's his stuff flying off the shelf. You know what I'm saying? But regular regular people ain't buying it. And now he done sold it because he wasn't making no money. He needed to get on the shelf. So with all this going on now, lawsuits after lawsuits after lawsuits after lawsuits, after lawsuits Judge Judy or Jay Judy, he gonna be right back in that courtroom with Dane, and and just because everybody think that uh, he got all this money and all these high power lawyers, don't think that he guaranteed to win. Remember who started Rockefeller with him. Remember who put up their money with him. Remember nobody even wanted to sign you. Dame believed in you, ran around, bullied people, cursed people out, and now you sending this nigga to court because he trying to make a dollar off of something y'all did together in the very beginning, the very first project. When nobody else wanted to sign you, y'all little the money, y'all rubbed y'all nickels together and put reasonable doubt together. And now today he can make some money off of it and you're going to sue him. You piece of shit. You's a stone cold piece of shit, my nigga. You got talking about you got a billion dollars. This nigga over here is struggling. His little his poor little network. I wish he would get off his high horse so I could help this man. I ain't trying to issue on day, but it's pitiful the numbers I see him do with his network. I could blow that, I'll blow that joy right up. Your man out here struggling. You got all these niggas standing around you, acting like they super rich, and they wasn't even there from the beginning. And they didn't do for you what Dame did for you, even if they was there near the beginning. When it comes to that album, that album as much as his as it, as, as it is yours. You may have wrote it, and it might be your words and lyrics and everything, but without Dame, brother, without Dame, where the hell would you really be? That man done put his head in the guillotine for you and been running around here for the last 20 years like a chicken with his, his head cut off. I done stand there right next to that man throughout plenty, plenty Mike Flizzy. What up? Plenty, plenty, plenty of meetings. Uh, um, hold on, y'all. Um, I've been through plenty of meetings with Dane, whether he was on the phone, 
in person, whatever. And the, the, the fights that I see him, like it's so much stuff that I, I ain't seen that I could show y'all where Dame is 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 fighting. And and now when, when you think back, or I think back and I know they was egging him and doing stuff deliberately because they was trying to get rid of him. You know, and that man put in a whole lot of work for you. A whole lot of work for you, Jay. A whole lot of work. And I'm not saying he ain't wrong in the stuff that he did. Yeah, he's wrong in a lot of stuff that he did. He, he, he wronged me. But when it comes to building that company and that album, you know what I'm saying? If he could get, catch a lick, you know what I'm saying, from that old Roly that was in the in the uh in the safe. Why you gonna come in and call a pawn shop and tell them it's stolen? No, and it's not. You're a cold brother, man. You rock your own fella. How you gonna rock your own fella, Jigger? You done rocked your own fella, brother. You really got Dame and you, I, yo, we got to follow this, man. We got to catch Jay in court on the other side of Dame and get to put the camera on Dame's face. That nigga's going to be so heartbroken like that day when he got in the elevator with Jay and Jay didn't speak to him and Dame came in the office and tore it up. Took all bleak pitches down, all J pitches down. After that Def Jam deal. But Dane, don't be surprised, man. This is the same nigga that went and performed for Def Jam at the Mix Show Power Summit. And we had our own Rockefeller Day on Saturday. And he gonna come in on, on Friday and perform for Def Jam. The Scarface DVD release party. Nigga did so many, so much crabness. Like nothing surprises me no more. Yeah, it, it's it's y'all that's still out here that's on this nigga nuts forever. I love his music to death, one of the greatest. But when it comes to personality and, and 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 morals and principles and his fake ass street principles, he alleged to have. Niggas is a whole, a whole stone cold fraud. Stone cold fraud. He don't stand for nothing he rapped about. If you, what did he say? If everybody in your clique, if, if everybody in your clique got money, your clique is rugged. Nobody will fall because we be each other's crutches. Nigga, where the crutch for day? You don't even need a wheelchair. You ain't got a crutch for day all these years. All these years. You even took Biggs back around. Well, we know now why you took Biggs back around. Outside of coming out of the federal penitentiary. Everybody that's in the federal penitentiary is over there, which is kind of spooky. But, you know, they're all street niggas. You know, they all stand up. This nigga said to me, yo, nigga never told on me. I don't care. <laughs> okay, buddy. You just like the rest of these niggas. A nigga sit here and preach. It's like a preacher. Every time we see Joel Osteen on, on TV, he, he preaching, 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 preaching. Soon the camera go off, this nigga sitting there cheating on his wife, smoking crack, uh, and doing every savage, foul thing that he could do. And people say, oh, well, you know. He, he, when I go to church, all I do, I, he, he never do that in front of me. You know, I never seen it. Then when I go to this church, it don't matter. 
But you you see him at the next church over there. He he bass and crack. Well, he ain't smoke crack in my church. I don't care. He ain't smoke crack in my church. <laughs> The good old days, the good old days, the good old days. When we didn't have nothing, we were struggling, we was going through clubs, trying to make it. Nobody believed in us but each other. Fast forward 2021, I'm suing this nigga. I don't care if he was around me when I had on t-shirts and school of hard knocks. I'm suing this nigga. He's not my brother no more. It's not Rockefeller and family no more. His kids are no longer my godchildren no more. I'm suing this nigga. So, if you didn't know who you was dealing with, you know now. All right? Joke, no joke. I'll see y'all tomorrow, baby. One love. Learn from mistakes out right now, all platforms. Learn from mistakes tour coming to your city. If you got talent and you need some shine, want me to put the camera on you, hit me up. I'm going to 30 states. All right, you want me to come do your podcast when I come to your city? Hit me up. I'm doing interviews. All right? Choke no joke. One love.